In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to reveal a clip one panel at a time in a three panel segment. What I'm going to do is take this clip of this young man with a tablet and drag it down onto track number one. Then I'm, I'm going to do the same thing and drag the similar copy into track two, one also into track number three, and another copy into track four. And for now I'm going to tra make track four invisible. You'll see why in a moment. Now what I want to do is I want to break this into three panels. I go to track number one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on my designer button above my tracks and click on mask designer. If you have an earlier version of CyberLink PowerDirector, this will be under your PIP designer in a tab. Now I'm going to make a mask for this one. What I want to do is take a rect rectangular mask And now I'm going to uncheck the box that says Maintain Aspect Ratio. Then I'm going to use a grid system. I'll take a grid line. I'll use a 3x3 three three here. Now I will take this and drag this over here and make it a little bit smaller and we'll just slightly decrease the top margin and likewise the bottom margin. So I have my mask. I'll click on OK. Then I move down to track number two, where I have the same clip. I'll take another copy of Mask Designer on this one. We'll go to a 3x3 three three grid on this as well. We'll drag up, put a mask in there, uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio as well. And then we'll put this one in the middle, just slightly inside our margin, our Snap 2 line here and then we'll drag the bottom and top in just a little bit hopefully get them approximately the same and I'll click on OK now we move to the third panel on track number three go back into our mask designer for the third time here again we're going to pick the same mask we'll also do the same grid and we'll also change the mask properties for the third time um, so we're not with in the the aspect ratio here and so we'll drag this side in just a little bit over here and this one the same and we'll go up and down just a little from the bottom margin as well just for a little bit of feature here there we go and I'll click on OK now I have my three panels. What I'd like to do is uh, change the timing of them. So what I'm going to do now is go back and do number one, track number one, press my F2 key to get in my PIP designer, and we're going to work on the opacity. I want the opacity of this particular panel to start out. I'll hit a keyframe on uh, the opacity value, and I want to change that to zero. So now the opacity starts at zero. Then I'll go into in here two seconds. And at two seconds, I will repeat the zero keyframe. But then at three seconds, I'm going to have the opacity go back to 100%. And click on OK. Then we go down to the second panel. We'll get into our PIP Designer there. And this time, let's go, uh, we'll start out with an opacity value. And we'll set it at zero. Move the slider back to zero. And we'll go to five seconds this time. And at the five second mark, we're going to set this at zero. But at six seconds, we'll give it a second. Uh, to brighten up 
become uh, visible and then we'll set it at six seconds to 100 percent so that's my second one the third one as you might expect we'll go into our pip designer here and we'll start the opacity value and make sure we start at zero here we'll go to eight seconds and there we'll keep that at zero again and then we'll go to nine one second later and at nine seconds we'll make it a hundred percent now I want to go to my fourth option and we'll get on the we're no, not doing any masking here but on the fourth uh, one we're going to go back to 11 and we'll make sure our opacity there is zero and set a keyframe and I forgot to do one at the beginning. We'll set that keyframe at zero as well. Then we'll go to 12. And we'll change our opacity up to 100%. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, play this in the movie mode in the preview screen. And we should have the first panel pops in. Then the second panel pops in then the third one and then finally the grid line should disappear oh I forgot one thing I have to turn on layer number four okay so we'll move ahead and we'll play this layer three and then layer four and that's as simple as it is to make a three panel reveal on a video clip in CyberLink PowerDirector